The president wants higher tariffs on goods brought in from Mexico. That could mean more expensive items for your kitchen, living room, even your garage. And for one Atlanta-based company, the bottom line. Jennifer Bellamy spoke with the owners of an Atlanta tequila maker about how the president's threats could certainly impact their flowing business. Yeah, Goza Tequila has been in business for the last six years. They've got a growing regional base with dozens of workers here in Mexico and spread across the country. But right now their concern isn't just bringing the best quality tequila to the masses. It's also the economy and what decisions from Washington could mean for their company here in Atlanta. Right here, it comes all the way from Mexico. 10,000 a month. That's how many bottles of tequila Atlanta-based company Goza imports from Mexico. We've always been fans of tequila. We saw the industry was booming. We felt like there was an opportunity to create a brand that was really approachable and took the intimidation out of, out of tequila. In Spanish, the name means enjoy. But co-founders Jacob Gluck and Adam Hirsch aren't finding too much pleasure in the uncertainty of possible tariffs on all products coming out of Mexico. No one really knows, and that's what makes it uh, even, even more intense of a situation, is you really don't know what the future holds. President Trump has threatened a 5% tariff on all Mexican imports starting Monday, with the amount rising every month to a max of 25% in October. And for them, there's no option for changing the business plan to bring their operation to the states. We'd love to have an operation here. But by law, we have to legally make tequila in a specific area in the Jalisco state of Mexico. And it makes these tariffs even more complex because it's not like we can take production of our product to America. It's just not possible. So now they're left waiting to see if the tariffs will actually go through and how long it could last, planning the next best option for themselves and their customers. There's a big difference between increasing uh, a tariff from 5% and 25%. So we have played out different scenarios in all those cases, 5, 10, 15, all the way up to 25%. Um, at a certain point, we would have to weigh the option of increasing the price to the consumer. A decision that companies and businesses across the country could soon face. You go to the liquor store, you go to the grocery store, whether it's avocados or tequila, the consumer has has the chance to really bear the brunt of the of a price increase if these tariffs go through. And Goza's founders tell me right now they are just hoping for some kind of deal to get made. Some Republican senators have talked about blocking the president's plan for tariffs from imports in Mexico, but the president says any action against it would be foolish.